and welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion. The Me Dion is the greatest painting on the planet. I have over a thousand YouTubes, and it's regarding Leonardo da Vinci's lost painting that I own now, that I found many, 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 many years ago. And with that, I'm going to show you how you see the Last Supper is the same man that so happens to be in my painting. Leonardo da Vinci used his models a lot. Put a mustache on him, put a hat on him, he's the same. If you take a look at Mary Magdalene, it is a stylist of the Mona Lisa. She is also the stylist of the Mona Lisa. This is the Mona Lisa, this is the Mona Lisa, this is the Mona Lisa. And his interpretation when you go into depth like stairs or at a tunnel or um, in a code or hidden works when you get deep into these paintings that I have many shots to, to explain when you see the looks they are the same woman when they get transformed it's like the Michael Jackson type deal that where um, all the nationalities integrate uh, from black to white uh, uh, or or so I hope I explained that proper but let me show you another finding in which I've done okay and this this is only like one hundredth of a percent of what is the same I've also showed in my YouTubes that my painting is in the Last Supper but let me show you this particular image and this particular image so happens to be located in the Mona Lisa approximately right in here area okay and when you take it and you rotate it 90 degrees this you'll end up with this image that I preset for you which is this super blown up well, what's unusual about this is that when you take mine and you get it preset, let me slide this down for the film a little. Okay, we're going to be concentrating in this particular area for you to see. Now you can see lips and an eye and an eye, long slinky face, and then there's an eye and eye and a nose, but to that face. But that's that's his hidden works within his works so don't don't let that fool you but don't let it not pass you okay now when I take this particular you're gonna see how this man's face of mine you see this curve and his nose you will see this and a curve this could be his nose you will also see that within here is like a horse head Here's a horse head, but also in the white is a horse head, and in the black it's a horse head. So he copies his works the same as he copies um, all his other works, like uh, the noses. So when I overlay this, it's 100% fit. Now we're talking near microscopic. Now I'm going to show you something that you'll have to have good eyes to understand or see or maybe this filming may not do it so I don't want to blame you entirely but I'm going to do my best to try to explain this when I put this back up and you see the overlay you can see this G it protrudes right here it's the G R now this G is also many times in his eyes you can see the G here in black and that's another copy he allows you to see how it flows through here. Now when you get into this area here, which that means you move it back away from the nose area, which is a slot, but you can see the straight up and down. You see the straight up and down? Watch. You see this area? So he gives you, and then he gives you a lighter, and then he gives you, he, these are strips. And he allows you to know where this nose is lying. And you can see this curve. You can see it, the white curve and then he gives you the tan dark curve and then he shifts it into a lighter curve and so 
he allows his works to move like a television, like you're looking at, that goes like that. And when you get to a certain area, the G fits perfectly into the spot that he lets you know that it aligns. But you can see this G and this G, you can see them, absolutely see them. 100%. Now I'm going to zoom in for this for you right there. Let me loosen this. And I got that marker. Let's see if I don't lose it for you. I don't know if you can see that G, but it's real vague. And we're talking the grain of sand. Okay? If that. And that is the G that's in my man's eye right here. Now, how can the G be in the, in the Mona? Because this was done as an x-ray, this particular one. And it came out of the Mona. I uh, pulled it off the net. And I've been examining this stuff for years. Now, when it fits here, this is, this is what's ironic. If you see this dot here and this dot here, it also lines up with the dot and the dot of the eyes. Also a dot and a dot the eyes. So th then you put this here, and if you follow, you can see this horse. You can move this horse and shift it, and it fits 100%. So he gives you this flow like this. So um, if you know what a flip book is, or you can Google it, but I'll try to explain it. It's like taking a telephone directory and, and flipping it like a fan and it moves, even though it's not plugged in, of a cartoon or whatever you may, or a car racing down the road. Um, uh, or um, That's how you, you know. Kind of like watching, uh, uh, getting a um, uh, comics and they're spread apart further and further. All of a sudden, he's at the lemon st lemonade station, and then all of a sudden, the lemonade station's behind him. Well, what happened in between? Well, you figured it out. But in Leo's, he can actually make it move like a TV because he does so much of it of overlaying. And sometimes he does skip, but to skip, he does it in smaller. So in other words, if you were to make this like we just said, which is so, it goes like this. And then he would reduce this down to many different sizes and he'll also make it in a small, like right there. That's the way he is. So he's, he, he, what he does is he copies his work. He even do it super, super large. So when you put it up in here, and you take a look, his works will fit within his his uh, uh, paintings because he also does it in um, mathematics. So don't forget, this particular painting is the Medion, which is means best boyfriend in the whole wide world. This is the Mona Lisa. This image is turned sideways of the same image in which I was telling you about. And this particular image that so happens to be right here, so happens to be my man. And he actually has a ring in his hand in my painting. And in many depths, you can't see it. But when you do get into some of my YouTubes that I've spent um, a great deal of time in he is proposing to marry so there's there's also this 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 deal here that people wonder why Leo had the signature of the finger see the finger of the one finger well it actually spells out Leonardo this is also a finger it spells out Leonardo but and also it spells out love so this is an L and then the thumb creates an O, and then it creates a V, and then you got the E in the hand. And the L and the V stands off for Leonardo. 
and if you really get into even more he can even go L E and then he continues with an O and he, and, and it, he has it all hidden all the time he's constantly writing his name he's constantly writing his lovers lovers not one lovers names and he's constantly um, uh, uh, writing love and don't forget, I broke the code that's in the Mona Lisa's eyes. And my woman's eyes are the same that's in the Mona. Because what he is, again, he's a copy machine. Okay, so this beautiful woman is the Mona Lisa in a stylist. And not only that, it is so happens to be he is of my man. But the... The CE that they found in the Mona Lisa's eyes, Google it. The code they found in the Mona Lisa's eyes. Nobody's even put it in there for it to be answered. And I've answered it, oh, many years ago. And it is, the, the CE stands for Katharina, the C, and the E is an M. If you turn it from an M to an E, in code so he doesn't let the people know that it's his lover Melzi Francesca. Now he's also got Sali in there with an S, but they haven't seen that. It's in there. But the LV also stands for short um, initials for Leonardo da Vinci. Pretty, pretty easy. But in between the L and the V that they don't look good, at or look look at well enough there's an O and so there's L O V and at the end of the V is a backwards E and a forwards E because there's many L's and many O's and many V's so it's L O V E in the Mona Lisa's eyes and that means love so what's he got the two greatest loves of his life his mother his lovers well, it's actually three. So he's got Melzi, he's got Sali, he's got himself, and he's got his mother's name in there. Now, he's got Giaconda, as so happens to be of the, his model, which is another stylist that's in there. There is a lot to Leo, okay? So we're still talking about 565 years. So with that in mind, I want you to social distance, wash your hands, and um, wear a mask, say your prayers, tell a teacher, take your broken finger, and so happens to push that subscribe and notification bell. And with that, I want you to, to know something. I put out well over a thousand YouTubes. I don't know how to cheat or lie about anything. I'm showing you the facts. I'm telling you the facts. But what I want you to know is... I didn't know YouTube did not promote YouTube's pictures. I didn't know YouTube did not promote your 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 works. So with that in mind, I need your help, okay? Because I'm I'm vague on it. I'm, I'm I'm just really down to where I don't know much about it, and I'm learning. I'm going to have to. It's going to be a slow run for me because I've never done this type of stuff except for studying his works. But I didn't know how social media worked. So with your help, please, and the grace of your kindness through your prayers and, 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 and to, to promote um, uh, the study of life and love and uh, religion, and um, possibly if you're um, uh, good enough to really put out some work, uh, maybe help me be financially uh, stable on to continue this type of work. And uh, so... Go social media, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and whatever other art and, and uh, groups you can go to. And help me out. Be a, be a, be a good friend and uh, helper, would you please? Remember, Jesus' name, we want to say may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. And you have a safe, safe life. Please. Amen.